Flex City fam, what is up? It is Bobby and Brad coming at you at a little break here at Target. We were just doing some shopping and I thought it'd be fun to uh, pop on the old iPhone and do a video about the top 10 things to buy at Target right now. And sure, we can start with stuff like food, but also we can go upstairs and check summertime cookware. We can check sunscreen because when the sun's out, the guns are out. Uh, let's do it. Let's walk around and show you what to buy, what to avoid with the top 10 things at Target right now. Uh, before we do our thing, like, subscribe, share. Spread that Flav City love, uh, but I also want you to check out thrivemarket.com using my promo link down below. Thrive is a six-year supporter of the channel, and the reason why I love them, don't get me wrong, I love Target too and other grocery stores, but on Thrive Market, you can save money. Typically, you'll save about $32 per order compared to going to a grocery store, and the box comes to your door, and Flav City fans are getting a hookup right now, and they're lo 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 loving it, right? When you click my link down below, you get 25% off your first order, a free gift up to $31, and it's 30 days risk-free. If you don't love it, you can cancel, but at least try it out. Use my promo link down below. Okay, let's go uh, shop around Target. Wow, look at Target, really stepping up their meatless game here. They have both Beyond Beef and Impossible. If I had to choose one, I would choose Beyond Beef because the uh, ingredients are inferior, in my opinion, in Impossible. They have their <laughs> Good and Gather plant-based meat, which I think honestly looks like horrible dog food, in my opinion. $3 off dog food? No, thank you. Um, here, just always gravitate toward this ground beef here for making burgers cause they have organic 100% grass-fed grass finish remember 100% grass-fed is the same as grass-fed grass finished this one is 669 for 9010 this one is 8515 for 619 but hello hello gavna on sale for a dollar off Ooh, when does this one end this one doesn't say 65 so which one including not including the, the sale which one would you rather get uh, fattier or leaner? Leave a comment down below. Which one would you want? Pause the video, come back to it. Always go for more fat, especially with uh, grass-fed beef, which tends to dry out. Um, you want fat. Fat is flavor. This is pasture-raised, good quality fat. 90-10 is just too darn... Is there, is there a dragon behind me, Brad? The heck? <laughs> is this a Lord of the Game of Thrones here? Where are my dragons? <laughs> I better get out of here. You don't, this is too lean here, right? And it's more expensive. You want this one and it's on sale. Make that into burger patties. Oh my gosh, that is actually a fantastic deal. Cheaper than Aldi with that sale price. Where's the hot dogs? They're usually around here. Yonder, lead the way, Bradley. Let's get away here before the dragon comes from Khaleesi. Have you watched that show, Brad? Nope. Nope. <laughs> I knew Brad, I had no idea what I was talking about. Ozarks, yeah, that's a good one. We love Ozarks. Is it coming back for another season soon? Yes. Sweet. Ah, here we go. Oh, wow, new, new section here. They used to have it over there. Uh, there it is. I mean, this is basically available at every grocery store now, but Applegate makes 100% grass-fed beef hot dogs with best-in-class ingredients. No filler, all thrill, thriller, good spices here. Uh, 529 is a little more than like a lips and butthole style hot dog, but you don't want that. This is where it's at for hot dogs and then for beef, go back by the dragons. We've never taken a trip through the cookware section at Target together, so I want to point out a couple things that if you have to buy here at Target, I would get. Uh, first and foremost, everybody needs a cast iron pan in their uh, kitchen. Wouldn't you agree, Brad? I do. And they actually have one of the better ones here. This is USA Made Lodge. And I like this because it's pre-seasoned. It comes with the handle, which is good for taking out of the oven. And $30, my friends, for a 12-inch skillet is a really good deal. And um, what's funny is um, we have a Traeger grill now, and I can't get it hot enough to sear. And I just ran into the Traeger guy with Brad yesterday at Costco, and he's like, you know what? It just doesn't get hot enough to sear. He's like, just toss on your large, large cast iron uh, pan there and then sear a steak there. Um, but what's really cool is you do have to sometimes season those, and they sell a seasoning kit, which I wouldn't buy. You just use oil at home. But to clean them can be tricky. I've never seen this before. This is a pan scrubber from Lodge. It's chain, right? It's a chain link with a rubber thing in there. To clean this, you can just get hot water and scrape it because you never want to use soap and a sponge on there. 
that will get all the crud off. I actually have the chain part at home, but I've never seen the insert there to make it more durable. This thing is really cool. So I'd say that's an essential. With the pan, you can almost do everything except, in my opinion, cook eggs in there because eggs will stick unless you have grandma's cast iron pan that has years and years of cooking with butter and lard, then it's a natural nonstick uh, surface. I don't have a grandma like that, so I can't cook my eggs in that, but it's a good segue because Brad is looking what you can cook your eggs in here ceramic nonstick pan. They have all the options of pans here. The problem is when you go to a traditional Teflon pan, oh, this isn't Teflon, this is anodized steel, but when you go to a traditional, like those, Teflon pan down there, I have a whole video about that. You don't want them because they have forever chemicals, right? They got rid of the really bad one, I believe it's the PFOA, but they still have other forever chemicals. You wanna go for this, this is, non-toxic ceramic non-stick pan. This is probably your best option here at Target. It's the green pan, 12 inch for $30, not a bad deal. I can say though, that it won't last a super long time. The green pan is good, it's non-toxic, but um, the non-stick ability is just okay, but it won't last you as long as Teflon. But once again, Teflon is um, toxic. Brad, what's the, what's the movie with Mark Ruffalo? Dark water. Dark water. Watch it on Amazon Prime Video. It's all about exposing uh, DuPont and the PFOAs and the forever chemicals. So this is a better for you option. The good news is probably um, early next year at the Flav City cookware set will be out. And I don't want to spill the beans, but it's going to be a very unique cookware set that won't be all one material. It's going to be a bunch of different materials. And I'm really thinking it's going to be the essential cookware set that everyone needs. But in the meantime, if you're here, Get this kind of pan for nonstick and definitely scoop the Lodge cast iron pan and that super cool scrubbing pad. We happen to walk by the sun care aisle here at uh, Target. We have a whole video about that uh, from the other week. I highly encourage you to search Flav City sunscreen on YouTube. Um, but basically, the options here aren't great, but they do have a clear winner. You want to stay away from the traditional ones that are chemical based because studies show that the chemicals do leach into your skin. One of the better brands is Sunbum, but they make a mineral one and a chemical based one. And this is not the mineral one. How do you know? Because look at the main active ingredients. The mineral ones will either be um, zinc or titanium dioxide. This is not. This is the chemicals, which are not terrible necessarily, but it gets bad in my opinion down here in the inactive ingredients. You'll see pegs, parabens, and other stuff you really don't want in your body because it goes directly into your skin. Uh, we'll go down here. A really fun uh, comment that Brad and I saw in that video is, oh, Bobby's a board certified dermatologist now, which reminded me of like Seinfeld, right? Dr. Pimple Popper, MD. You don't have to be a board certified dermatologist to know about toxic chemicals on your skin or eating ingredients going in your body um, for that reason too. I would come over here and this is probably your best option here. It's not perfect, but by far better than the other ones. Bare Mineral is, uh, Bare Republic is a mineral based sunscreen and the active ingredients are what I talked about, titanium dioxide and zinc oxide. And you're not gonna see a ton of preservatives. I really don't see any parabens here. Now it's not perfect, I do mention the other ideal ones in that video, like from Badger, but here at Target at $12.99, this is your best option. And that's coming from me, Flav City, a board certified dermatologist. I think they have one of the best varieties of my favorite sparkling flavored water, Spindrift at Target. Hello, on sale till, oh, that's Saturday. And this video is coming out on Sunday. So not on sale anymore, but the variety here is great. I haven't tried a bunch of these spin drifts. I, I wanna try like the Arnold Palmer style, the half tea and half lemon, but the tea is not organic and tea really should be. But everything else, like pineapple I haven't tried. Where's the mango? Orange mango sounds great. And here's the cool thing. If you haven't heard me talk about this before, it's the only, one of the only flavored waters that don't use natural flavor. They're using real mango puree and orange juice here. And by the way, Brad, you might want to go to uh, Costco, right? Because the sale on Spindrift is legit. It's like 37 cents a can, but they don't have the variety that they have here. The thing is every other flavored water on the market, I don't care if it's Waterloo, LaCroix, any of them, sparkling ice here, they all have the dastardly ingredient known as natural flavors here. And these guys don't do it. I believe they're coming out with a hard version of this very soon without natural flavors too, which would be super cool. Maybe we'll check over around the corner by to see if they have it. Um, so grab the Spindrift. It's one of the most Bobby approved uh, waters on the market. I'm seeing this more and more. 
Uh, they're called prebiotic sodas. There's a good thing and a bad thing I like about them. Um, so I love the fact that for the most part, they have barely any added sugar. Four grams of, what is it? Uh, oh, organic cane sugar is one teaspoon. It's not bad. Um, the thing is they keep calling these things prebiotic sodas because they add inulin or fiber or apple cider here. Can we just get something straight? I'm all about gut health and prebiotics. I love my seed probiotic. Soda is soda. It ain't a prebiotic. Even if you put something like apple cider vinegar in there, um, a prebiotic fiber, it's not gonna help your gut bacteria at all. It's a low sugar soda, which is great. Uh, there's other ones that have no sugar. Those are great. That's the, the selling aspect of it. It's a much healthier version of a soda, but it ain't gut friendly. Let's leave that to real gut friendly foods that have fiber rich sources and stuff like that, not soda. Not the biggest selection of ice cream here at Target. Um, we did a huge video the other day, remember Brad, about the uh, best uh, ice creams for summer 2021. Go watch that. We have non-dairy and dairy options. But here at Target, there it is. And what's cool is this available basically everywhere now. It's Rebel Keto Ice Cream. And even if you're not keto or diabetic, in my opinion, this is what you want to get because there's no added sugar and it's five grams of net carb, meaning it won't spike your blood sugar. But here's the cool thing. Look at the ingredients, all right? Because you're using some sugar alcohol, you back out the carbs from the fiber, from the sugar alcohol, and that's where you get the five Gs of uh, net carbs. But the ingredients are super solid. So obviously it's not organic, but I've yet to find any low carb ice cream that is organic. But I love the fact that they're using coconut oil there. I love the fact that they're using zero glycemic sweeteners like monk, fr uh, monk fruit, any erythritol. And yes, there is natural flavors at the very bottom, but even any kind of ice cream for the most part has natural flavors. At $5.29, I think it's a little cheaper than other grocery stores. These are the kind of ice creams you want because you want to minimize the sugar and the glycemic load when it comes to sugar and uh, to ice cream. And this is where it's at because regular ice cream just has way too much sugar. My threshold usually is about 14 or 15 grams a serving. And if you're dairy free, this is actually a really cool brand. It's avocado based called Cado. And there is cane sugar in here, right? We look at the ingredients. I love the fact they're using real avocados and avocado oil but it's a relatively moderate amount of sugar. 12 grams is not a lot. You'll find most like Ben and Jerry's can have 18 to 30. So this is allowable and it actually tastes really good. So if you're dairy free, I'd go for that one. Otherwise get that Rebel one. It's a very solid choice. All right, family, that is it. That's the top 10 things to buy at Target right now, but not just food, right, Brad? The cookware we just hit, the sunscreen, the drinks, all that good stuff. So run on down to Target. Too bad that sale was over yesterday, but I'm sure stuff will be on sale again very time, uh, very soon. Leave a comment down below. Let us know where one Mr. Bradley and I should go next as we come to the end of the escalator in this very dramatic ending to the Why video. <laughs> we leave you like we always do. Hashtag keep on cooking. Mad love and peace from Target.